Good day and welcome to another season, another year of Quilting with Dawn. Which may be a little strange for those that haven't known that I already do this, and I did this two years ago. There was a Quilting with Dawn series where I made the quilt you see right behind me called Lap Kitties. It's a rail fence quilt with kitty appliques that I did all by myself. Well, okay. I did all the work, but I actually had a lot of help as far as planning, technique, uh, even just even the long arm quilting itself from Carolyn, my uh, wife and of course quilter extraordinaire. So I had a lot of success that two years ago and I got the itch to do it again. So this time I'm gonna do a, a different style of quilt, something that's more artistic, if you will. And I'll, I'll throw on the screen a close up of what this is, but it's called the Vista Boxes. And what you're getting out of this is a pattern that mixes colors and geometric shapes to provide a 3D effect of these 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 rectangles that are seen from different angles, and it's and you, you create that effect by the colors or fabric you use. So the pattern is um, it's just a pattern. You have to figure out all the fabrics yourself. They do make recommendations, and I went along for the most part with those because how you do it, each each three dimensional object has three tones to it, three colors: dark, medium, light. So, so I've, uh, I've I've got a blue set of boxes, green set of boxes, three different colors of green, orange set of boxes, these ones aren't so far apart in color as you might expect but I'm going to be labeling these because I'm a little colorblind and it might be hard for me to see. And then finally the last color choices are purple or lilac. So you get the idea here, you get three different colors. So the way you create this quilt then the way you put it together gives you the, the contrast and the, uh, and the perception of three dimensions. I'm also chosen a, uh, a solid uh, color for the, back, for the background of the pattern. Now these all came from Missouri Star. I ordered all the fabric from Missouri Star Quilting and they're the Stonehenge series of fabrics from, um, I want to say Northcott, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, yeah, they had all the fabric I needed in one shot. Reasonable prices, even got some wide backs, so the, I, the background fabric I got is also going to double as the backing on the back side of the quilt. What I also did was a test, some test sewing, because the way this is put together, and you'll see as we get into it, is by sewing together triangles, a special sort of flat top triangle, and I wanted to make sure I understood how they go together, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't say I have it perfected, but I get a really nice convergence of points in the middle. So that tells me I've got the right idea uh, on my test and that's what I have to stay, continue to do consistently throughout the quilt. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a tease. There's going to be more episodes. I'm not going to do it so that it's, um, like I think I made the last series, you had to wade through 10 episodes of Quilting Went On. Nah, I'm going to condense it this time. Let's show less of my um, <clears throat> thought processes and mistakes and more of the actual final product, all right? That's what I intend to do. Here are a few scenes from last year just to whet your appetite of what you can expect. Luckily, I, I'm used to this ironing thing, having been in the military for more than a few years. Be your, you did the trick is poor, so you just get a nice little bit ahead at the top. But I'm really happy with the way the quilt is coming on along so far. It is now almost six o'clock, and Robert tells me it's dinner time. I wanted all my four corners to be perfect. My beautiful lap kitties quilt. I am so excited. Draw and sew. There we go. Lined up. My line. I can't take credit for it. Carolyn made me watch it, and it was very informative. It's back, another guy does it. So it must be good, right? But he explains it very clearly. <laughs> Here really goes Carolyn again. This one is called to... Smoke Point. It's wonderful. Mm. So, cheers. Happy quilting. Remember, don't drink a quilt. So the next thing we're gonna do when I get back to her is cut the fabric. That'll be one thing. And then, and then start sewing. It should be, that, sh that should be how it goes. Behind me is also a key part of this process because while I'm going to take down this lap kitty's quilt, 
and it's a quilting design wall because the way this pattern works is you really have to be precise in where you put the colors and the triangles. And you, you know, even you mess one up and it's gonna wreck the pattern. So gotta be very right or there will be unsewing involved. So stay tuned and uh, more to follow. Cheers.